This video will introduce you to GRC, Infor's Governance, Risk and Compliance Capabilities Purpose Built for Cloud Suite. Why the need for GRC? Auditors require proof that your financial systems follow regulatory compliance standards that monitor for segregation of duties issues, fraud, and financial risks. GRC continuously monitors internal controls automatically which decreases manual efforts and audit costs associated with manual reviews. Proactively test for new user exposure to segregation of duties violations prior to positioning. Where does GRC fit in the Infor landscape? Running on Amazon Web Services cloud infrastructure, Infor OS, our operating service, provides foundational pieces such as enterprise document management, data management with integration, and GRC. GRC is purpose built for Infor ERPs with out of the box SOD rules that jumpstart implementation as well as the integrations back to those ERP systems. GRC monitors all four layers of controls with questions to pinpoint capabilities. For instance, for preventive controls on asking the question, what can users do? For user access and security, can anyone create a vendor and pay a vendor in the financial system? Or does anyone have access to a sensitive permission, such as changing AP or GL setup flags or thresholds? For detective controls on what did they do, GRC monitors business transactions such as are there any duplicate payments or backdated journal entries in your ERP. Master data review answers is that underlying master data accurate. Here's one slide that pulls all four of the overall GRC capabilities together. AI Authorizations Insight automatically monitors your key application systems for user access issues. It uses those predefined configurable business rules to uncover user access risks and inform appropriate decision makers with reports and alerts. Access Manager provides compliant user provisioning to help you keep your business application environment free of segregation of duties, violations as new users or change in user profile happens. You can automate user access requests and role changes, analyze requests for control violations, and keep an audit trail of all activity. Certification Manager automates the end-to-end -end process of reviewing users and roles across the ERP systems and other business applications. With Process Insights, delivered transaction monitoring rules can detect fraud in your financial system and violation audit reports provide controllers, finance managers, and CFOs visibility to the anomalies and remediation clarity. It also helps improve operational efficiencies. Just a quick glance at some of the delivered segregation of duties rules, create a vendor and pay a vendor, as well as maintaining AP setups and PO setups with all rule severity levels defined as part of that out-of-the-box solution. Delivered HCM, Human Capital Management, Security Segregation of Duties rules that you see hire an employee versus pay an employee should be segregated access points to the system. Process Insights rules really flow through different processes within an organization. Procure to pay, order to cash, general ledger, and those items to the left that are published for analysis on the rules identified there to the right. Duplicate items, duplicate payments, backdated journal entries, journal entries created and posted more than 30 days apart, those sorts of examples. Our watch list insight looks for suppliers, customers, or employee data 
that matches blacklisted entities from government watch lists. Some of those government watch lists include OFAC, OIG, Office of Inspector General, as well as SAM. GRC ingests these lists and then performs that analysis to push out those violations. Let's take a look at segregation of duties. Here we see a workspace or a home page dedicated to GRC analysis. In the upper left, you'll see a user violation report that shows users having respective violations according to the rule severity of those violations. Off to the right, I mentioned the human capital management, a different set of rules here, but also around, for instance, hire an employee versus pay an employee. A drill into this rule example would show users that have that access. As we drill into a user violation report here, we can see that this user has violated these particular rules and from an audit perspective and overall just good controls management of an organization, this user needs to be managed because it shows that he can create a vendor and pay a vendor. Easy to drill in on the details around this user that shows specifically around the reasons why he has been identified, very easily showing the roles that gives him access to create that vendor and access to roles on the uh, right side here gives him that access as well. So the confluence of access from the left side here to the right is why he showed up here on this violation report, but it's very easy to manage here. As a reviewer, I can add a comment. I can uh, have a question asked and have that question be part of this record. Also in the upper left-hand side, this is simply telling me I can only mitigate those assigned to me. Maybe this individual needs to keep this access by applying a compensating control, which is a list of typically internal audit sanctioned control reasons, documentation that satisfy auditors as to why that person needs that control, that access still. Perhaps he's in a remote office, maybe he's wearing multiple hats, maybe there's additional scrutiny put on those that have this access, but this individual needs it in order to do his job. We can simply assign this compensating control and a couple of things happen. The next time we analyze, GRC analyzes, this individual will not show up on this report for this rule because he's been managed. The second thing that happens automatically is this user is added to an exclusion documentation report that's going to document why he's been excluded, date and time stamp, and such. All part of, again, the offering that includes rules and reports as part of that GRC offering. Another use case example, perhaps he needs to have those roles removed from this user. You can invoke a change management request that details there's workflow, there's an approval process already built in that mirrors your particular change policy there at the organization, all audit controlled that can actually have GRC right back to that ERP and remove that role as well. So lots of options there to manage. As a reviewer, the visibility here is important and not only that visibility then, but the rules that all of this is built upon. So if I come under design, business controls and rule book, and if I do some simple filtering to look at authorizations insights, and also those rules that are enabled. You'll see here, I've got the bottom three rule books, simply ways of organizing the rules, as well as the HCM, 
the human capital management rule book here as well. If I drill into, for instance, the financial accounting and general ledger rule book, you'll see that there's a list of ways to create or maintain a fixed asset versus process that vendor invoice. I drill in to show the details around this rule. Under rule details, a lot of information around documentation. A business language description, every rule has it, that speaks business language as to why it's important to segregate access at these points. Control objectives can include documentation from internal audit, where they've got their own controls, their own ways of conveying the importance of segregating. Conditions speaks to exactly how this particular rule has been defined. Really the smarts of the application in that, it's looking at the confluence of this matrix across your user base, across the set of golden rules that you've deemed necessary as part of an analysis for yourself and for auditors. Upper left, just moving back to show reports real quick under monitor and reports. Off to the right, different categories around the different capabilities of the reports offered. We started at the home page with the violation summary here, and then we drilled into the violations detail. The exclusion documentation report that I mentioned is here as part of an offering. The auditors over the years guided us as to best practices around the rules and around reports that should be included in an audit tool and a full audit solution. Those reports can be rendered here. It's easy to create a new report through here. Uh, you can uh, pick out a particular report, for instance, put out the format that you'd like to see this report in, and a couple of additional questions simply on, do you want to run this report now or later, and what frequency would you like to attach to that report? The capabilities here, again, for segregation of duties with real concern, audit concern, SOX concerns, framework concerns, those bottom line callouts there for each of these columns really highlight the benefits of GRC. Your path to realizing less risk, better visibility to fraudulent transactions, less audit costs start with GRC that will automate audit, risk management, and compliance management processes for better governance.